Hey everybody, this is going to be a review on the Aviation Fighter Series from S14 for the AC-130U variant for the Spooky 2 gunship. One 144 scale die cast, licensed through Lockheed Martin. I uh, picked this up recently. It was released at the end of July after a little delay from uh, COVID. Uh, the box is absolutely beautiful. You got your pull tab that lifts the tray out. Side schematic of the AC-130. Letters are kind of shiny, reflect. The other side is the same. And then the back has Looks like a uh, bottom-up view of the airplane. This retails for about 130 US with uh, shipping. This was uh, purchased and shipped from Japan, and uh, very pleased with it. And I really want to share it with you guys. So the tray pulls out. We have the model itself. I'm doing this one-handed so bear with me here. So uh, this originally comes kind of wrapped in a plastic, very thin plastic wrapping that comes off the whole box. And uh, once you unwrap it, this pulls right out. There's no tape on the plastic clamshell. And this is what it looks like sitting in the box, you got the stand, and then the uh, model itself. So it's really nice, this just pops off so the bottom can stay in. Very uh, simple. I like that there's no tape, but uh, here it is. So you have the stand here, which fits into the, the main your two main landing gear doors and then your nose section. You see the screw in the bottom. It allows you to swivel back and forth and kind of put it into a, uh, a left bank as if it were uh, firing its weapons. The uh, unfortunate thing about this stand is that the stand is sold separately and I have yet to find one of those yet. So, probably have to uh, come up with something else on my own. Easiest way is to lift the aircraft from the wing route. You pull it out, and I gotta tell you guys, this thing is, uh, I've been waiting for a while for an AC-130. I mean, this thing is top-notch. Set it down here. Working in my basement, uh, my, uh, my my bench here. I got some brown paper out. So we'll start the nose here. There was a little bit of a paint chip off the nose there, uh, unfortunately. But you know, it's all good. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. You got the side decal or the uh, side imagery there. A spooky too. You have a nose uh, sensor under the nose here that does rotate. Um, it, it does rotate all the way around and uh, spin, um, as does the the back one down here. I get my little my pointer pointer pencil. Yeah, so you have your nose sensor. And then you have a couple of, uh, looks like pitot tubes here. There was something that was attached here. I'm not sure if that came off. There was nothing in the box. And then your aft sensor array, or not the aft, but a little bit farther back there. That does uh, rotate up and down and swivel 360. Uh, your 25 millimeter Gatling does uh, elevate and press. 
Oop. Propellers do spin. You have your auxiliary or your uh, external fuel tanks. The shroud on the back part of the engine, I believe that's for heat dissipation. Moving across the top here, got your antenna arrays, your refueling, uh, aerial refueling receptacle, your antennas all the way back. Very solid build. This is all metal. Some more sensor arrays here. On the other side, you have a clear piece of plastic there, which I believe is accurate to the actual aircraft. Another sensor on the wing underneath. And then back you have your 40 millimeter Bofors. That does a little tail heavy, so it does uh, tend to want to fall back, but it, it does sit nice nicely when you're not pushing down on it. You got your Bofors 40 millimeter that does move up, down, left, and right as well as your 105 millimeter howitzer up, down, left, and right. Got a good range of motion, looks real sharp. Uh, my only complaint is that the, uh, on the actual aircraft, the muzzle, or sorry, the barrel is much bigger than that. That's, that's quite small, it's actually smaller than a 40 millimeter on the model, but uh, I thought about drilling that out, but we'll see. Continuing back, real nice paint job. Get this back in focus here. Great decals. I don't even know if these are decals. I think they're they're printed. Uh, flipping the model over. Um, very very vibrant paint scheme here. Camouflage. There's your sensor. Sorry, it's a little out of focus. Put that back. Your sensor it does rotate. And like I said, it swivels. And same for the nose. Little tiny guy. I'm really impressed with the detail on this. And then you have your, uh, I believe that's a sensor operator. He, he or she can look out of that and monitor. I don't know if the cargo ramp opens. I've seen pictures of it with open, but um, as far as I've been able to, um, I can't get it open, so I guess it's fixed in place. I don't really want to take a knife to it and break it. Um, but again, your your weapons have a fantastic range of motion here, and uh, you can create a really, really nice looking um, display with this. So as far as the stand, the way the stand works that we showed earlier is the, this pops right out, as does the, uh, the door here. Same thing with the main landing gear. You have one piece um, that's close to the middle of the fuselage, the wheels, and then you have the, uh, the outer door. So it's three pieces per side and then two for the nose, they pop out. And then these go into the main slots and this goes into the nose. And then you attach this to the stand. If you want to get creative and you want to just, you just want to have this model with uh, the doors closed, I'm sure you could cut this and glue it in, but that's, that's up to you, the owner. And then um, if you want to put the, the gear back in, it just pops back in there. And then the, uh, I found it easier to put the, the door in first. And then the, the nose. So that's the bottom. Again, the uh, the paint's pretty vibrant. Um, I think on the actual aircraft, it's a little more subdued, but it is uh, more than adequate for uh, what what this is. Uh, there's like a little bit of varnish, maybe a coating that's uh, 
kind of showing itself on the top of the wing there. I'm not sure what that is. Be beautiful plane. Uh, this is again the uniform, AC-130 uniform. And I believe that they just retired these. There is a, yeah. So on the, uh, the bottom of the clamshell that slides out, you have a little bit of a uh, little history. Modified C-130 for cl uh, close air support interdiction, arm reconnaissance. Convoy Escort, Strike Coordination, Overwatch, and Point Defense. So, a little bit of history there. Um, real nice. Really, really well laid out. Hurlburt Field. Yeah, they're located out of there. AFSOC. Uh, 155,000 pounds. I believe that's actually the max gross that... C-130 is supposed to take off at, but the uh, with the amount of ammunition and, and uh, hardware these guys carry, it doesn't surprise me. So you armament, accommodation. So real nice display, and that's the uh, again the, the pull tab for the uh, S-14 AC-130U. I uh, picked up another one of these and I keep it boxed up and um, just for a rainy day. I'm just very impressed with this. I've, I've had the in-flight 200 series from, or yeah, the, from in-flight the 200 C-130. Those are very nice. Uh, I've never had a Gemini, but uh, I was glad they made a 144 scale C, uh, AC-130. I was getting ready to, to uh, kit bash one of the in-flight ones, but once I saw they're coming out with these I just waited and I'm glad I did and uh, Highly recommend this uh, Unfortunately again the downsides the stand. I wish it came with the whole thing but It is what it is um, It looks fantastic This nose and if you uh, point the the weapons down and get it in the left bank there it just looks real sharp it's real nice so I uh, like I said I'm, I got another one so I recommend this and if there's any questions you guys have or I can answer for you just let me know I'm gonna try and do some more of these I've got a couple of planes that have been boxed up but, you know, uh, these are, I'm impressed with the kind of level of detail the S-14s come out with. They've got a line of helicopters, A-10s. I brought, I, I purchased a Marine Corps MH-53, or CH-53, I think it was, a couple years ago. Very impressed with that. So highly recommend that brand, and uh, nothing but good things from them that I've seen so far. There's no broken pieces in the box. Um, the only downside with the paint, the nose, and, you know, again, that, that can kind of, I attribute that to wearing. Um, you can kind of make it look like a, a weathered aircraft a little bit. And then the top of the wing, not sure what's going on with the, the varnish there. So, I appreciate you watching, and uh, please let me know, again, if you have any questions. Uh, I usually use a dollar bill for scale for... Um, for these models, but all I have right now is a uh, regular number two unsharpened pencil, so uh, that's it's about the, the length of the aircraft there. Decent size, uh, most of it's metal, surprisingly. Uh, I, I think the only plastic parts are the sensors, a couple of the, uh, the landing gear doors, the windshield, um, I, I even think the I think the propellers are some type of die cast as well so got some good weight to it but you can definitely feel that it's not a solid piece inside like some of the in-flights are so I think it's hollow and it gives it like a solid but not too uh, too heavy feel so yeah so the wheels just kind of fell off there um, still detailed looking real nice uh, they do not roll and they just slip back in there. One thing I also forgot to mention was inside, you can kind of make out the 
doing this on my phone here. You can make out there's two pilots sitting there. I don't know if you can make that out, but there are two pilots sitting in the cockpit there. So that's a cool added little detail. And uh, again, thanks for watching. And uh, be on the lookout for more aircraft reviews. See ya.